Hello friends, welcome back to our channel that is Amplicons of Biotech. This is the part 2 video of CRISPR system. In this video, we are gonna see the newer version of CRISPR system that is known as base editors. Actually, there are three classes of CRISPR system. That class 1, class 2 and class 3. The Cas9 be, uh, belongs to class 2 system and the class three, uh, Cas3 belongs to class 1 system. If we compare both system, the Cas9 it neatly cuts DNA like a molecular scissor and in case of Cas3 it chewabs the phase DNA like a shredder. Shredder means it cuts DNA into smaller fragments. Let's see the diagrammatic representation. Suppose this is our DNA. In case of Cas9, the Cas9 enzyme cuts DNA like a scissor. Cut, it cuts DNA at this side and this side. In case of Cas3 system, the Cas3 enzyme chews it like a shredder. Means into small pieces. Okay. Using synthetic RNA, we can program CRISPR-Cas9 system and CRISPR-Cas3 system to target specific gene by allowing them to disturb, delete and replace DNA more easily and quickly. CRISPR-Cas3 has a unique ability to identify, delete the longer stretches of DNA than CRISPR-Cas9 and it chunks up to 100,000 base pair long. And it makes multiple cuts along with chunks like a shredder. Means it cuts the DNA into smaller fragments. Because it uses the longer guide RNA. That means it's better and more accurately locating the chunks we want to target. This makes it ideal for editing non-coding segments of our genome. Non-coding sequences are the component of organism's DNA that do not code protein. It was suggested that the 98% of the human genome do not code protein sequence. Instead of that, they act as a regulator and determine the how much of the gene is expressed. And we don't have a great understanding that what role they play in our genome. You, using CRISPR-Cas3, we can cut the longer stretches of it and see what happens in genome. It will give a better understanding that what these non-coding sections do and how they work. The CRISPR-Cas3 also could delete the section of DNA that have been permanently altered by viruses. Example, the disease like herpes that could hijack our DNA and also for antibiotic resistance bacteria. Well, the most recent study in CRISPR-Cas3 did demonstrate that we can also use it in humans. Actually, still we don't have a control that how longer section of DNA we tell it to delete. And since we are not entirely sure of the complete function of our gene, so we have to make sure the, for the section we are deleting is safe to delete or we have a healthier version to replace it. Hence, we need a backup plan and there are various studies coming out about the unexpected effect of CRISPR-Cas system. This is all about the CRISPR-Cas3 and the difference between CRISPR-Cas3 and Cas9. Make sure to watch both of our videos part 1 and part 2. Make sure to subscribe our channel and press the notification bell and share with your friends. Thank you.